Hi, Killer Clan. Welcome back to Giant Foods. I got a subscriber sponsored uh, Giant Foods today. Uh, Alan Alejandro sponsored another one. This is his second video. He wanted me to make huge empanadas. Um, so that's like a, um, a puff pastry full of uh, two styles. He has a dessert one, cream cheese and guava spread. And also he has one that has um, hamburg and uh, Spanish onions and some adobo sauce. Uh, Etc. So we're gonna go ahead and put together two gigantic empanadas. All right. So Alan Alejandro uh, told me I need a Spanish onions now. Spanish onions, I believe, are just uh, yellow onions. So I got some yellow onions here. I got three pounds of yellow onions. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get those uh, get those softened. And then I got uh, almost five, uh, a little over five pounds of Hamburg, I believe. Uh, some beef are in it. I got my beef here. Um, 80-20, trying to keep the calories down. Alan told me I needed some adobo, all-purpose seasoning, so I got some adobo for in the burger here. And it's a, <coughs> it's got a strong flavor to it. I'm gonna go ahead and add that into the meat. He said lots of adobo sauce. Well, lots of adobo flavoring, I should say. I recommend that I try some of these here, so uh, I think they're like seasoning cubes or seasoning packets, I believe. Yep, packets. We'll go ahead and drop one of them in there too. Probably gonna need two of those, I would imagine. I got my beef in, I got my seasoning in, I added some salt and pepper, and I have my onions in the bottom. Anderson is ready. Went ahead and got my dough uh, pushed out. If I'm not mistaken, I believe an empanada has like a thin pastry, so we got the uh, for the second one, it's like a dessert style. He, uh, he told me to get some of this guava jelly. Now, I have never had this. I don't know what it tastes like, what it smells like. 17 ounce jars. I got uh, three jars and I got uh, six packs of cream cheese because he said cream cheese and then guava jelly. Now, I also I got some guava paste too because it. I wasn't sure if I should use the paste or the jelly because you, you listed both, Alan. So, um, Maybe I'll save this for another project. So I went ahead and got my other uh, dough here formed out. Now I got one for dessert, and I've got one for the main course. I'm telling you, if you guys could smell this, the aroma coming off of this is ridiculous. It's got such a good smell to it. I got my cream cheese over here softening up so I can smear it on there. We're almost about ready. We're at 410. We're going to preheat these to 425. Um, <clears throat> like I said, this stuff is intriguing to me. And I think I'm going to save the paste for something else. I'm not sure yet. What do you think, Gene? <laughs> so now that we're draining the grease off of this, we're going to go ahead and see if we can load this thing up. I'm not sure how much this is actually going to fit in here. I'm hoping it can get the majority of it in here. I gotta be able to fold this thing over though, so. Which I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. This thing's pretty huge as it is. See how good I can fold it. I feel like I need to shove it all to one side. Oh, the 
crap ton of cream cheese. And obviously then I just repeat that with the rest of it. <laughs> Now we wait. All right, so my dessert empanada exploded out that side. This one, I got my parasite here. I had to use some crescent roll to patch it. Um, this clearly wasn't my best attempt at the. It's a great idea, Alan, but I got to figure out a better way to execute empanada shells, like maybe two pizza roll, two like pizza doughs. One for over top and then crimp it down maybe like a pop tart? I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a go again, but uh, this is my take on it. These things are huge. That's they're about five pounds a piece. So four and a half, five pounds, so 10 pounds. Dessert, regular. Let's eat. All right, Killer Clan, so as you saw in the uh, previous clips there, me, myself, and Irene, because Mr. Poole wasn't here tonight, um, attempted to make two empanadas. Now, like I said, this uh, challenge was sponsored by Alan Alejandro, and I appreciate it, and I hope you're enjoying your t-shirt, Alan. I'm glad it made it. Uh, you had me worried when you said it was like two weeks and you hadn't got it yet, but uh, you did get it, and I hope you're wearing it proudly. And uh, this was my attempt at these empanadas that you uh, sent me the ingredients list for. <sighs> I could say I did my best, but I don't know. I feel like I come up a little bit short on the dough. But nonetheless, I've got a huge one over here. I've got a huge one over here. Two huge ones. So two huge empanadas, whether they're cosmetically appealing or not. So without further ado, the giant twin empanadas channel. Three, two, one. Double empanadas. I moved the clock down here because uh, I had some complaints. You guys said you couldn't read it or see it up there on the shelf, so I went ahead and put it right here by my head. So uh, now this this did set up. I mean, look how flaky it is. You hear the crunch. So it definitely uh, it definitely set up for me. Look at that feeling. Steaming hot as normal. It's good. I'm going to go ahead and poke some holes in that dessert one over here so that it can cool down. But uh, if you want to see what it looks like, there it is. Steaming hot also. Mmm, that's a lot of cream cheese. And that cream cheese and that guava though together, it's, it's pretty good. I feel like an empanada is supposed to be like crimped around the edges. Kind of like a pierogi, um, mine or not. <clears throat> like I said, my uh, my dough kind of set up, but kind of didn't. Um, it's just right as far as I'm concerned. You don't want it too crunchy. The closest thing I've ever had to a real empanada was when uh, Taco Bell used to have the uh, apple pie empanadas, which I'm sure that that's not really authentic. I know this probably isn't really authentic, Alan. Um, but I do like a little sweet baby raisin on there.
Uh, wait till we get to 40,000 subscribers, guys. I have come up with a uh, giant foods creation for 40,000 subscribers that is going to be, let's just say, epic. Definitely comment below if you have any other uh, suggestions on these giant food uh, creations because I, uh, I've i finally caught up on them. Uh, i got one more next week to post. Uh, that's 30 McDonald's breakfast burritos too. Yeah. Got my boy here. Believe it or not, somebody actually messaged me the other day and asked me if I would sell them Anderson. I was like, what's he worth to you? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I needed more adobo sauce and um, whatever that other flavoring was. I'll have to look at the packet, but I, I think I needed more. I mean, I can taste it, but it's just faint. All right, so about nine and a half minutes in, got the first one out of the way. We uh, still got this dessert one. I'm actually super, super, super pumped up about this one because uh, it has cream cheese in it. Cream cheese happens to be one of my favorite foods. <coughs> I'm not sure if I can can kind of pick it up right there. You just spin on the other side, baby. Mm. I'm telling you, that guava jelly and that cream cheese, that goes good together. It's made a believer out of me. Three pounds. I don't know how much you love cream cheese, love cream cheese. There's six blocks of cream cheese in it at uh, almost 900 calories a piece, so that's uh, 5,400 calories just in cream cheese. <clears throat> I 
I know I took all the fun out before you down in the comments. You can't make fun of me because I already made fun of myself enough. Sixteen oh nine. There you have it, Killer Clan. Two gigantic empanadas, sorta. Uh, I really appreciate Alan Alejandro uh, sponsoring this challenge. Uh, my execution was a little bit, eh, but nonetheless, they were delicious. Like I said, just because it's ugly doesn't mean it's not beautiful on the inside, right? Comment below if you agree with that. But until next time, make sure you make up. I don't know if I would. Unless you're really good with dough, don't make one. Just go buy one. Go to a great Mexican restaurant, order an empanada. Take it easy.